Hello, this is Neil from ipaintgirls.com. Check out the website to get more free tutorials, and we're going to continue on here with shading. So I'm going to add just uh, some parts. Want to add just a little bit more? And notice, I'm, I'm just for me, it's hard to like see how obviously can't see how hard I'm pressing, but um, I'm pressing very lightly on the tablet, very very lightly. I'm just going over you know, and adding little parts here and there, just barely, you know, touching different parts and then just adding a little bit more. A bit more light and shade to some of these parts here. Kind of went out of the lines. Right, so next thing then is we're going to start doing the torso. I can add a little bit of again I could just you know totally shadow all that and then I can add you know the brightest brights if I wanted to if I you know if I wanted to get away, a little bit away from the comic book shading then I can add you know the highlights just little highlights where the brightest parts are going to be something like that. Okay, so the next thing then is uh, this form in here, it turns, it all turns away so I can add, it can be really dark since it's all turning away from the form. Then some light might be hitting over there. I know I didn't say, I wasn't, we weren't going to go with cast shadows, but we'll just do one cast shadow for now. So first imagine your, where your light source. Remember this is like, uh, you have your lines like this, right? So you want to imagine that light source is still hitting. So this is this is going to be the biggest part, and that's going to be the biggest part where the light is actually hitting. Now this is the part that's closest to us, but it's not closest to the light. So that's going to be the part that hits the light. And then you can imagine, you know, you can draw in your lines for the, you know, the darkest darks. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do the line here for the deep shadow. even though we haven't got into that yet. It's pretty easy, like, you know, you just imagine that you have whatever shape you have on top of another shape, so you have like this kind of spherical shape on top of a flat plane, let's say. Then the lights coming here, you have like that, then this whole thing has to be shaded like a sphere and so forth. And then you know that the light is hitting all the edge of that here, so imagine that line, that's where the light is hitting all the edge of that object, and the light hits there and it continues over here and it you know it puts down a uh, you know a, sh a shadow here and so you would you'd mark all that as shadow right so anyway um, to learn that kind of stuff it really to really get good at it though I guess it takes learning perspective because uh, you can like actually draw shadows perfectly with perspective but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and shade this in might as well add a little bit of shade. Just I'm not gonna actually draw her nipples. I'm just gonna, you know, show that they're there by making them a little bit darker. But I'm not gonna actually draw the other part, the nipple part. I can't remember the technical name for that part, areola or something like that. <laughs> anyway, that's the only part I'm gonna color in a little bit. All right, so all that's shaded. Then, you know, as we come out here, again, I can just add a little light shading to all of this. I wanted to. Let's say, come. I remember it comes way up there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of light shading to all that. It's gonna be much lighter than the darkest dark, which means I'm gonna have to come back in here. And so all this applies to painting too. You know, you have to be able to do the the values first, which is a black and white. Once you, and then we can go in and add our highlights now actually radiate out just a little bit. Probably be easier if I actually used the proper kind of brush. That just make it a little bit easier to maybe a little bit would could come in like that just add some coolness. Go back to my fire brush. 
By the way, the kind of brush I'm using is really simple. I, I guess I can show it to you really quick here because I know people are probably going to be asking. So if you have followed this tutorial all the way to this part yet, you can see the brush I'm using is I have Shape Dynamics set to pin pressure here and um, transfer. It's called transfer now. And this is the how hard this gives you opacity. So I have the shape. The shape means um, that whether it's flat like this or if you can get really tiny and then this is the minimum diameter so I can get really tiny and the, the maximum thickness is five pixels that's the brush I'm working with that's set to pin pressure and then opacity is also set to pin pressure which means the lighter I push the the lighter the stroke and the harder I push the the darker the stroke but also um, I'm gonna add this in here but also the actually I was using a size three before that's right So this, the three is set the same way. So the harder I push, the thicker the line and the darker the line. And then the lighter, you know, if I can get really light, if I just kind of go like that. So it, it best mimics the pencil. So all this here is going to kind of be in shadow, pretty much. Remember the, this would be a cast shadow from her face. Cast shadows are typically the darkest. There might be a little bit of light here on the collarbone, so I can indicate that just by shade, you know, just by making a little bit of shade darker. There's going to be a little bit of cast shadow from her hair, but it's kind of far away, so it shouldn't be a too big of a deal. Right. Now, remember you saw this kind of 3D shape, so you will have a little bit of light in here. I'm actually going to color all this in. I'm going to color all this in as well just not lightly shaded in. And then if I want to, I could add, you know, a little bit of light in there. Right. So remember, imagine different 3D forms. You have that big 3D form there, that big 3D form there. And so that's how, that's what you're imagining these these 3D forms as you're coloring. And remember the light is slightly coming down too, so the bottom areas will receive a little bit more shadow. It's actually kind of hard to shade like this with a Cintiq, but it's not too hard. You just got to keep building up and work light. Okay, so I'm going to imagine this 3D shape is coming in here like that, and it might be receiving a little bit of light, so first I'm just going to kind of shade it all in. one color and then I'll add just a little bit more shade on one side like that just kind of add that 3d form same thing with this piece over here now remember these I I'm, I'm this is one like kind of shape that comes out like this so I want to kind of imagine that imagine that imagine that imagine this whole shape down here but before I do that I want to imagine this shape here which kind of comes off like that and it's kind of shaped like this Right, so it does have some 3D form to it. And you can kind of indicate that too by the way you shade it. So I have a little bit of highlight here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shade it all in one color. I'll add the highlight afterwards because it's easier that way. That's, you know, why you might as well take advantage of Photoshop because there are certain things that are easier in Photoshop. You could, you could do it with pencil too, but you have to erase, and that's kind of harder than just using white and it just gives like more like painting. Just go right back over it. Add the highlight there. So I was going to do a, more of a comic book shading, but I guess I'm doing more realistic shading for now. And then um, all this shape here will kind of be shaded, I guess, like that. And all that over there. This shape here, again, we have that same kind of shape as over there. And I'm just going to kind of shade in part of it over here, like that. And then it, this kind of fades down into here, and this all gets really dark. That's one of the darkest places on the human body right in here. I'm going to kind of come up on this shape here. This whole shape here is kind of its own se separate little triangle shape. And so I might be making mistakes because, I, I, you know, I'm not like the perfect I'm not the, you know, I don't have like absolute knowledge of the human body and 
um, I don't have any any reference I'm going by right now for shading so I you know I could be making a lot of mistakes but I think I'm doing okay so far the next thing is a belly button this is important to remember this is something you have to remember you have two different shapes here right so you have this kind of two kind of cylinder shapes together and so you think the darkest part is going to be in here but the belly button is another shape like so and so it adds this weirdness like this where all this is going to be shaded in that's going to be hitting that part of this of that sphere will be hitting light and then all this is going to be shaded in and that part will be hitting light so that's the best way to imagine shading those those muscles that we're going to shade here the, that's this whole two thing here so just imagine shading it like that whatever way the, whatever way the light's coming from so if the light was coming from this way then that side of the belly button would be getting the light and you just reverse that shading okay so um I will come back with the next part. Uh, please click that thumbs up, man, if you're enjoying this. If it's helping you, uh, it helps me, so press the thumb. Thank you.